Figure out that last sentence, you know what I'm saying. As y'all can see, the sun is shining brightly on me. <sighs> it is a beautiful day. See, God know what he doing. You know what I'm saying? God know what he be doing. Because the last two days, the girl ain't been feeling good. Y'all know my back issue, you know what I'm saying? Been going on. And my mood been a little off, you know. And today the sun is shining bright on this girl, you know what I'm saying? I woke up in a good mood. I feel good. I feel rejuvenated, you know. <sighs> it's a beautiful day. What am I going to do with it? Hmm. So, to start, I'm going to finish washing clothes. And I have a little few things in the house I, I want to finish doing. I got to straighten up my side of the room. Um, What else? I just got some little DIY projects I want to do, which I'm going to definitely, um, you know, um, make a video on them as I do them. But I just want to at least get the supplies for it today for sure. And they're inexpensive DIY Dollar Tree um, items. And I want to get that out the way. Um, I need to go get some things for dinner. So um, I, I think I told you guys in the last vlog that... Um, Sean and I are going to be celebrating Valentine's Day this weekend because we don't have Caden this weekend. And being that Valentine's Day is during the week and he's working his double. So he goes to his second job starting today. So um, we're going to celebrate this weekend. I was thinking about, however, sorry for the lighting, y'all. I was thinking about... Um, Having dinner, I'm um, not dinner, having uh, lunch with him. Going up to his job and having lunch with him. But his lunch is at like 12.30. And I'm like, if I do that, it's literally chopping my day. And y'all know Kaden come home at 3.30. And I'm trying to make the most out of my time while I don't have Kaden. Because let me tell y'all, as soon as that little boy is in my presence, it's my name being called every two minutes. No lie. Like, mommy, can I this? Mommy, how you this? Mommy, don't. It's like, yo, for real. Give me like 45 minutes. You know what I'm saying? And I know I'm not the only one. Jesus, boy. Drive me crazy. But anyway. So I want to take advantage of the time that I have Kaden in school. And then um, because of my back issue, I have physical therapy starting today. So my appointment at physical therapy is at 430. So I'm no 450. And it kind of messed up my plans because I wanted to meet Sean at the gym. And I was going to go to the gym today. And I was going to tell her right because I know she's like, girl, I believe you when I see you there. But these last two days, I haven't been able to do nothing. Like ever since me and Sean did that workout in the basement, not blaming it on the workout, but just probably the workout on top of my chair, my desk chair, me sitting at work all day for 10 hours. It just all plays a part in my back. And then I'm not going to say my mattress is the best either. And it's just a lot. So we're going to look into getting a new bed too. Because it's just, you know. The bed's not that old. But, well, yeah, it's old enough. I think it was purchased in 2015. So it's old enough. But, yeah, so um, with that being said... I'm just, you know, I'm not too pressed to do anything outside the house um, because I'm having my physical therapy and I cannot take Kaden. I was going to, you know, Thursdays is the day that I would like to take Kaden to the gym. Um, sorry, you guys, I'm cleaning 
up as I am talking to y'all so I can multitask, you know what I'm saying? But Thursday is a day that I wanted to take Caden to the gym so he could have a little bit of a social life too. And um, um, because of my late appointment, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it out that way. Yeah, so I'm going to finish washing some clothes in here. I need to run this downstairs. Run this downstairs. Yeah. I finished washing some clothes. And I got some little um, projects I started last night. I started printing them out. And I'm excited to, you know, get them together there for my office. And, um, you know, depending on how this girl feels and everything, you know what I'm saying? I might just go outside and um, spray paint my little chair that I got and my little basket. So we'll see how this girl feels. But let me go ahead and get in here and do these clothes and I'll be back. On You're here right now at this moment because tomorrow you want to be somebody greater than the person you are today. You see yourself succeeding. You have a vision. You have a dream. Congratulations. You're already 10 steps ahead of 95% of the world. Imagine if Michael Jordan was scared of missing. He would have never taken a shot. Imagine if Steve Jobs was afraid of people not liking his product. There would be no iPhone. So ask yourself this. Do you want to be a person who fears failure? Or do you want to be a person who loves success? Which one? Because you're going to have to pick today. And I'll tell you one thing. One is a failure and one is a success. And if you love success, there is nothing that can stop you. All those negative things people say will mean nothing. They're going to talk about how only 1% make it to the top. Big deal. Want to know something else? Only 1% stick with that fitness program long enough to see results. Only 1% of nerds stick with that video game long enough to get good at it. Only 1% of relationships stick it out to the end. That doesn't mean you have a 1% chance. It just means you can't behave like the 99%. You'll have to do something better than giving up a month from now. Those are just numbers. You wanna talk about numbers? Take a look around you and take a good look around you. Are you like 99% of the people around you? If you are, then you're in the wrong video, my friend. You have to love success just as much because that's what's gonna allow you to get up and go for it. Being scared to fail won't do anything. In fact, when you love success and you start going for it, guess what happens? You're gonna fail. You're gonna fail 10 times, 100 times, maybe even a thousand times, but that's okay. Failure isn't permanent. Falling isn't permanent. You get right back up and keep going. And this time you're gonna be stronger, wiser, and you'll be more driven than ever. And for every 10 failures, you'll land one success. You have to love success so much that you're willing to fail 10 times before you can succeed once. That's how a winner does it. I wanna explain the biggest myth that most people think leads them to success. And here's the myth. You might believe if you're scared to fail, you won't fail. Lies, biggest myth ever. And I believed it. You see, I always thought that being scared to fail in life would literally keep me from failing. I would look at the losers around me and I would say, sheesh, I never wanna turn out like him. So, sorry about the lighting, y'all. I'm going to try to stand right here I'm in my office. But, um, I just got a phone call from Caden's school 
and not from a teacher or from a counselor or nothing like that, but from the freaking vice principal, y'all. And she's saying the same thing that everyone else has been saying. You know, Caden's a very not um a very smart kid, um very bright, handsome or whatever, but he doesn't listen. Um super high to, ha, ha, super um active, um can't sit still. And today she was like he was on the bus and he was like going seat to seat and the bus driver told him to sit down. And um she told me that he told the bus driver to shut up. Now I know my child, and I'm not going to say that my child won't, won't ever do that, but I will say I have never, ever um, experienced anybody, especially an adult, saying that Caden has ever disrespectfully talked to them. As far as, like, not listening and stuff like that, running around and things like that, yeah. But talking back, especially telling you to shut up, calling names, any of that, no, never. And... Part of me is like, nah, my son ain't do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, when I talked to Kaden, um, I was like, you know, what's this I'm hearing about you telling the, your bus driver to shut up? And he was saying that when the bus driver corrected him, another student on the bus was kind of like laughing, like, ah, you know, sit still type of thing. And Kaden told him to shut up. So that to me is more believable. Um, still not going to cross it out and say that he didn't say it. Um... But what I will say is that I just feel like Kaden is just, I don't know. Like, I just feel like he's just showing off. He's trying to impress the wrong crowd. And, you know, we've all been there. We've all done that. Like, me and his father, we um went to the same middle school, and we stayed in the principal office. Like, stayed in the principal office. Um, And I had, like, that kind of, like, leadership type of, like, vibe, I guess. I don't know. And I always was like a people person and stuff like that. Real cool or whatever. And I don't know. I, I just felt like I don't I didn't have to do what I was told to do. I didn't want to do what I was told to do. I wanted to do what I want to do. And I'm still like that. I just grew up and, you know, in life. And you're like, okay, well, you know, things. I can't do everything I want to do right now. And so because I am restricted and my restrictions are more so just with like my time and having to be to work and stuff like that, having to ask for time off, like that type of stuff. So it's like because I really have to do what I have to do for right now, all I can do is just try to push towards my goals and focus and put myself in a position every day to get myself closer and closer and closer to having my financial freedom, my time, and things like that. So, I don't know. <sighs> Y'all, but I'm going to um, pop up to his school. I talked to him, but he doesn't know I'm coming up there. So, I'm going to pop up to his school. Um, do I want to wear these shoes? The principal said that his lunch is, um, that his lunch is at... What time did she say his lunch was? She said his lunch was at um eleven forty to twelve ten. So I'm definitely gonna pop up there. I don't think I'm gonna wear these shoes though. <laughs> I haven't broken these shoes and I've had them for over a year. Oh, but I haven't broken them in and they're gonna be tight. I mean like not you know how it is when you buy new shoes. I've had them for a while, but I've only worn like twice, so I don't feel like dealing with the whole, like, feet going numb until they get broken in type of deal. So, I'm <sighs> not going to wear those today. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to pop up there. And it's, like, it's so sad because Thursdays, which was my day off, I really wanted to have that be our day. Like, I wanted to eventually, like, get to take Kaden skating. I bought him some skates for Christmas. He hasn't even broken them in yet. Um... I just wanted that to be, like, our time to, like, do our stuff. Today is, um, today's, uh, uh, Valentine's Day. And, you know, it's just frustrating because I'm like, dang, every time I have plans or I want to do something, I feel like, I oh, here we go, I have to put them on punishment. You know what I'm saying? But I have to do it because, like the teacher said, like Sean said, like everyone said, it's only going to get worse. You know what I'm saying? It's only going to get harder. He's getting older. Um, he has to learn. So, um, I think I'm going to wear these. Do I want to wear these? Good Lord, y'all. I'm having such a hard time deciding my shoes. And all I'm wearing is a... 
freaking oh let me show y'all i have a body mirror guys let me see if i can show y'all so i'm not gonna wear those i know what i'm gonna wear i'm gonna wear my hot tops these i love these shoes they are so fly see they have the back i like these i'm gonna wear these but and then also you know like thursdays like today it would be a day that i would be like okay cool um like i want to get that call where um you know i want to get that call where his school calls me and says kaden is a pleasure to have he's been really really good blah 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 and then i can pop up with you know chick-fil-a or something like that for him for lunch like i want to have those days you know what i'm saying so it's like, what I'm like, Kaden, what do you think your consequence is going to be? He's like, back on punishment. And I'm like, okay, well, you just earned your TV back. You just earned your phone back and all of your privileges. And I'm like, and then you want to take an international trip that I was trying to plan for both of our birthdays in August. And I'm like, you know, I told you I was going to take you on a, a, a trip or whatever. And I'm like, I'm not going to do these things if you're not doing what I need you to do. Like, why would I keep giving, giving, giving to you and you're not giving back to me? So, I just pray that he gets it together, y'all. Like, I really, really need my son to get it together and stop playing around with school. But let me take a look at what time it is because I feel like I'm moving. So, yeah, let me get out of here. It's 10 o'clock. So, I'll hit y'all when I get in the car. So, this is my complete outfit of the day. Nothing special by far. Just a workout outfit with my A1s, y'all. Yes, y'all. I'm on the road. Finally made it out the house. So, I want to just try to take my time today and, you know, not feel like I have to do so much. Um, I mean, I'm not going to do so much because, first of all, my funds are restricted because I want to, you know, do something um, nice for Sean for Valentine's Day. And Kate and Booba. So I'm going to probably go do some stuff like that. And then um, I want to get Caden's room together. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to do take, try to take care of what I'm going to take care of. Go up to Caden's school and have lunch with him. And then I'm going to come back home and, like, put Caden's stuff in his room. And I hate it because I'm like, dang, like, you know, it's Valentine's Day. I wanted you to have a good day. I was going to, you know, we were going to do our thing today. Like I said, Sean's working. So me and Caden were going to spend Valentine's Day. And then me and Sean were doing our thing this weekend. And now I feel like, you know, I got to kind of be a little strict. You know what I'm saying? And I hate that. Like, I hate that. I want to I wanna be fun with him and, and nice with him and just nice to him and have fun with him. But I really have to hold my ground, y'all, because his behavior and getting himself acting right is what's more important. So... I'm going to do my thing with him, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to let him know, listen, this is it. I was even thinking about taking him to a movie tonight or whatever after we door dash for a little bit because tomorrow's Friday. And I'm like, all right, whatever, it's Friday, you know what I mean? But I'm not doing that. So um, I'm just going to get him a little bag, a Valentine's Day bag, probably some balloons and make him like a little candy bag and um, I can't even do it how I really want to do it. Ugh, I hate that. But I'll figure something out, whatever. But yeah, so um, my car is absolutely disgustingly filthy. So first thing first, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum out this daggone car. And I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to go vacuum out the car. And then I'm going to go run a Dollar Tree. Um, it's like where I'm going is like by Caden's school. And I don't need to be there until 10, I mean, what, 11.40. So I still have over an hour. So I'm gonna, um, did I go out beat down though? Maybe I'll go to another one because they look raggedy and beat down down, y'all. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to another gas station. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and get the stuff that I told y'all. I want to get my little DIY project. Um, let's see, what else do I need to do? When I get home, I need to upload the vlog from yesterday, which is a real quick vlog. I'm just, y'all see, I'm venting on that one. And then, um, 
Oh, and then I did the um, recipe for the seven day smoothie cleanse. So I need to upload that one. And uh, I don't know. That's it. I'm going to just see what the day bring, y'all. So I'm not going to really try to like do too, too much. And, you know, I'm just going to let relax, enjoy my time, get my little bottle of wine. Because let me tell y'all, that daggone bottle of wine been coming in handy after work, boy. The bottle gone. Sean bought me a bottle of wine, I think, on, I want to say on Friday, last Friday after work. And usually a bottle of wine for me will last like for a while, a good while. But psh, that daggone bottle is gone. And he said he started to drink um, the last little bit yesterday. And he was like, nah, she probably won't want it when she get off. And thank God he didn't drink it because I took it to the head. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm probably going to get another bottle of wine tonight or whatever and i'm just praying that doordash is a little busy i'm thinking it will be people may not want to be bothered with going out in the traffic and all that other stuff so i'm hoping that it's going to be busy the only thing to it is i would want to doordash downtown and with parking and stuff downtown and how it's going to be that's the only part of it that irks me because i don't want to take the risk of getting a ticket so i don't know i might do another area or whatever but yeah, y'all. Let me go ahead and figure out um, my little list that I need to get from Dollar Tree so I don't forget nothing. And I'll be back on when I get up in the tree, y'all. Y'all, I hate when I'm, like, home looking at everything. And then I get here and totally forget the stuff I need to come here to get. Like, I cannot stand that with a passion. Anywho, I'm going to do a little um, tray table with a little mirror with these. I got two at the bottom. That's going to be for the living room. I thought these were really, really cute. Unicorns. And I'm going to use them for book stoppers. Aren't they cute? Anyway, I need to go up here and get some balloons before they run out. <sighs> but I was something I need to get here too, y'all. And I can't remember what it is. And I'm really sitting here like, what is it? And I don't want to just get anything. I think that's all I'm gonna use. I know they're getting these boards. So it probably won't hurt for me to have a board on hand. Cause I wanna get, oh, you know what? I need to get those clamps. Let me see if they have those clamps. That's acrylic paint. But I need the, um, I need some black acrylic paint. And I think I have some. I know I probably do. What's this? Oh, that's tacky glue. Oh, I don't need that. I'm gonna look. I know they should have like food coloring. The girl was saying the food coloring is hard to find. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways And on and on We'll go Oh, 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 oh,
for. <clears throat> the thing you do for love. Oh my gosh, y'all. That's me being all extra. No, and dad gone well. I'm the one that liked all the damn balloons. I'm over here. Getting the asses all the damn balloons. Good Lord. Good at Pachuli. So, what am I looking like on time? So, I spent $37 in Dollar Tree. Um, $10 of it was on the balloons. I got 10 balloons. So, I'm going to give five to each of my lovies. And I got Kate in a little bag. And I'm going to just put, it, put some um, candy and stuff in there for him. I got him like a puzzle and some of a little knickknacks or whatever and um yeah i don't know what to get sean y'all i don't know i really don't i'm thinking the only thing really for him because like i said we're doing something this weekend i probably could i don't know cook him dinner he's not gonna be home till late but he'll probably still eat because he'd be hungry probably cook him some salmon or something like that yeah i'll probably do that i'll probably make him some dinner and then i'll have some stuff on the bed for him i don't know what but i'll figure it out y'all know i gotta be creative but anyway let me run into the house real quick and um get this stuff in the house situated run out to have excuse me lunch with Kaden and then um uh I really need to do some grocery shopping uh, I need to do some dash but I'm gonna do that tonight I'm gonna try and do as much as I can do in the house and I really wanted to tackle my little projects in the house I know what I fit, so I'm figure out whatever I figure out. I'll let y'all know because right now I'm just kind of stuck on what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to just after I leave Kate in school, I'll probably stop at the grocery store and get something to cook for the night and then I'll probably just start cooking it and then be in the house finishing up doing what I'm doing until Kate um, gets home. Yeah, sounds good. I'm do, I do need to definitely vacuum this car, so I'm doing that for sure. So I'm going to drop the stuff off, run in the house real quick, and then come back out and vacuum the car, go to Caden's school. All right, y'all. So, y'all, I'm here at Caden's school, and he's, like, right there. He doesn't know I'm here, but he's been in. So far, he's been good. Are you being behaving today? You better be, Kaden. I'm gonna start popping up, me and your father. I'm gonna start popping up on you. I'm gonna get Kaden so cute. No, thank you. Say hello to the vlog. This is Shauna, 
and you do what when you see everyone? I hug people. <laughs> Peyton, Peyton. That's Shauna. Peyton likes to give hugs, y'all. <laughs> She's a sweetie. What's this? This is jailbreak. Table, uh, table uh, three, please use the restroom. Table three. What's this game called? Today? Jailbreak on Lego City. Oh, okay. Oh, this is jailbreak. Mm -hmm. Jailbreak. And you know how to access this on at home on your computer? Yes. Jailbreak is on mobile. Number. Yeah. I got. But in order to play this at home on a computer, it has to be a touch screen computer? Because we don't have a touch screen computer. They don't need to be a touch screen computer. They have to get the iPad. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got phone in the iPad. Yeah. Wow. I broke it when I was uh, about four. I, yeah, I didn't broke it, That's but I, I lost. I lost the um. I lost the key. The key. The key to open my computer. I should never open that password. That's why I should have never did. So he had a. So he had an iPad and a computer and a phone. Wow. He has yeah. too much stuff. That's the problem. Right. And he gonna get it all taken away because now he's gonna punish me. Right? <laughs> So, so I can call him on my iPad. You have an iPad? Uh huh. Yeah, you can call him. Huh? Okay. Yeah, you can call him on it. It'll you still got that? It'll ring to his iPhone. Cause the iPad, I gotta get the screen fixed. Yeah. And you gotta get the um, password. <laughs> and we gotta make finish up hanging out with babe for number one. Got my lunch, y'all. <sighs> hey, feeling like I'm always rushing. No matter what I try to do to not rush. Kaden's little classmate, Peyton. She is too cute. For her little chubby cheeks. Please don't come out. Thank you. Oh my goodness, y'all. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Um, my therapy appointment. Well, there goes me and Caden's Valentine's plan, y'all. Got another phone call, this time from a counselor today, and it don't make no sense, like, how, how I was just at your school, had lunch with you, you know what I'm saying, I was just telling Sean, like, oh, I'm not gonna put him on punishment, because his teacher's not really saying, you know, anything too much, but then when I talked to the counselor, the counselor's saying, his teacher barely been there, and, um, his teacher's the one who had to put him out the daggone class today. Because he and another little boy was putting their hands on each other. And while the teacher was reprimanding the other little boy, Caden picked up some cubes or something, I guess, and tossed them at another little kid. So I'm like, 
What the heck, man? <sighs> and I just, I really, I really don't like, you know, having to discipline Kaden. I really don't, but it's necessary. So now he got to go back on punishment and uh, I like to be cool with my child and us to have a good time, enjoy each other's company. I don't like to be mean to him, but better now than later on I'm dealing with a worse situation of him not listening and obeying the law and all that other stuff and getting calls from the police and stuff. So, <sighs> y'all, man. Oh boy, be giving me a run for my money, that's for sure. So I'm opening up a package that my mom sent me. Oh, she gave me some herbal tea. That's nice. Moringa Oliveira herbal tea bags. Caffeine, gluten-free, no GMO. 92 nutrients and 46 antioxidants. She gave me two bags of those. Thanks, Mom. And then my favorite bowls that I had there. Yes, my favorite bowls. I'll tell y'all these bowls. Oh, they're so big. See how deep they are? I got them from Costco. But yeah, so I, um,. I don't know what to do with this little boy, but psh, he ain't going to stop my flow. So I'm going to have me a good day. I'm going to continue to have me a good day. I'm going to um, wait for him to come home. And I'm going to, um, I think I'm just going to run to Walmart and go pick up some food. I'm sure Sean is starving. And I'm going to have some dinner cooked. So when he comes home, he'll have something to eat. And yeah, so I'm going to make a um, hot cocoa bar slash tea bar. So I bought a few things from Dollar Tree when I was there. I'll show them to y'all a little later on. I'm just trying to get this stuff situated and I felt so bad because I had a little bag and stuff for Kaden you know for Valentine's Day let me prop y'all up on something hold on y'all don't want that right. yeah so um and I felt bad because I'm like dang now I don't even want to give you nothing you know what I'm saying Frustrating. So frustrating. I still don't know what in the world I'm going to get Sean. I still haven't decided that yet. Aside from the little candies, the little chocolates and stuff. But I don't know what I'm getting them. But yeah, I'm going to check out the um, Target dollar spot, but I want to put some of these. So they got some trays. I'm going to put those and get like a little tray or I'm going to end up making a tray. One or the other. really really like the, the, this bar right here the little unicorns I think they're so cute and I'm gonna put them as book stoppers I just think they're so adorable all right so this little Tara should be walking through the door any moment now so let me Get myself together to talk to him and go over his punishment and stuff. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, y'all. So I headed to Walmart. Um, I'm gonna pick up some salmon. I think I'm gonna do 
salmon, um, a baked potato for him, and some broccoli. Well, that's not just for Sean, because obviously, Katie needs to eat, but I'm trying to figure out what I was going to cook for dinner, so for him to have when he get home from work. So I'm going to do salmon, baked potato, broccoli. And then I'm, I need to figure out what I can make on the side for him to be able to take to work with him. But I think I'm just going to do tuna fish and stuff because he doesn't like heating up food and everything like that at the job. So he likes to be able to just keep it in his car in the cooler or something, grab it and eat it. So I think what I'll do is I'll just... Um, Get a couple cans of tuna fish, and then I'll make him and Kaden's lunch for tomorrow. But when he come home, at least he can have something to eat for dinner tonight. And I'm going to get that started. And I'll take nothing to make the salmon. And then I'm going to shoot out and try to leave out the house by 6 o'clock so I can do a dash a little bit more. I said if I even feel like doing it by then, but we'll see. But, yeah, y'all, so, oh, and then uh, I need to get some food coloring when I get to Walmart. Some flowers I wasn't able to get at, um, I didn't see any flowers that I liked at Dollar Tree. And what else did I want to get for the house? Uh, excuse me. Oh, we need some dish soap. Dish soap, food coloring. I believe probably grab some like breakfast bars and stuff like that for him to take to um, for breakfast and I believe that is it y'all I want to say that's it yeah all right I'll pick y'all up when I get there y'all <sighs> overdid it overdid it Okay. I got it out. I got um stuff that we definitely need for the house. What the hell did I put? Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get let me get the car keys. Okay. I just thought we parked over here. Right here, right here, it's over here. It's over here. I don't remember parking over here. It's right there. Stay with me, please, because cars are going in and out and everything. It's right there. I know that, because I just saw it. Stay with me. Excuse me. Like I said, I uh, um, got stuff for dinner and stuff that we definitely needed for the house. Finally got the phone. And that was cheap for three bases, so that wasn't bad. That was expensive. Really, it still, still had uh, trout, really. I don't really like how the salmon looks. Oh, God. Kaden. Try this little boy. He don't have no type of mannerisms. Don't even lift one bag. Try one. I'm gonna stop at one last spot, which is um, the international spot. Cause Sean really loves the Swiss chard. And he was hoping that we had some or that I had made some the other day. We didn't have any. So I'm gonna go get some Swiss chard and make that. Ooh, it's cold out there, it's getting colder. It was nice today though, so I'm not gonna complain. So yeah, is your seatbelt on? Alright. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna make um 
the still head trout i'm gonna go home season that up put that in the oven and a baked potato and um i'm gonna do broccoli for kaden and then swiss chard for sean and then i'm signed up to dash at six it's already what almost 4 30. <sighs> so i don't even know if i'm gonna ha have time to make it by six but if i don't i'll maybe try to edit it and um move it down to um seven or six thirty i can't i don't want to go and then kaden didn't eat dinner and all that other stuff so <sighs> yeah but yeah y'all so i'm on the move i'm on the move kaden back there waving y'all know he on punishment so i'm very upset with him but y'all already know so yeah i'm about to go get my ice go in the house start this stuff kaden's gonna do his chores and um, work on some homework while I'm cooking dinner and then get in the shower, you hear me? And I'm gonna be um, working on getting the, Kaden, don't. I'm gonna be working on getting dinner going and I have some things I need to get together. And y'all still ain't fine nothing for Sean. But I'm not about to stress about it. I'm okay. I'm, not, I'm just like, all right, I got you a card, some chocolate, some balloons, and I'll figure the rest out this weekend. Because, like I said, we celebrating this weekend anyway. So, I don't even think he was expecting anything today. I wasn't expecting nothing today because he's going to be working. He's literally going from one job to another. And as early as he got to be to work at 7, ain't nothing open. I'm not really expecting anything from him today. So, I am about to stress my mind about it, y'all. But y'all, let me leave me in the comments. Um, leave me leave me some comments and let me know what you guys did for your significant other for the V Day, or what did your significant other do for you for the V Day? And let me know. I just like to, you know, know. I especially like to know what the girls, ladies, did for their guys. Because it's hard, you know, Valentine's Day isn't really a man thing. I think men participate because they know that women love love. So I think that's just what it is. Like, Sean definitely is just like Valentine's Day. He don't really care about nothing, like him getting anything. He's just like, I know you like it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yeah, like, I like Valentine's Day. So he was like, and because of that, I'm going to celebrate it or whatever. But let me run in here and get my eyes. Hey guys, it's me, Kaden. My mom's in the store. Watch the one that we just finished. It's gonna be attached to this one. So hey, while my mom's in the shop, I'll be talking to y'all until it's until she's done at the shop. So guys, mom, I don't, I'm on punishment, so I'm not gonna be able to do nothing. I'm gonna have to go home. I'm gonna say when my mom get back in there. So this is what I'm, this is what happened. I was in school. I was just getting enough punishment, and never mind. So first I gotta go. Home. I gotta go inside. The um. Do my homework. But then I gotta get in the shower. All my mom's eat making a dinner. Then when I'm done, I go to, I go to bed. So that's enough time for the whole the rest of the day. Wait, I might go to door dashing with my mom probably. <sighs> Y'all, I'm like bumping. I'm just gonna go straight to door dash because I just called Sean. Something was like, let me call him because I haven't heard from him. The plan was he's supposed to get off his first job and then he's gonna go to the gym. And then from the gym, he was gonna go to his second job. And I kept asking him yesterday. I'm like, are you going to come home? Or do you think you're going to come home and get something to eat? Or do you gonna, are you going to come home and want to do da 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 And he kept saying, no, nah, I'm just going to go to the gym and go straight to work. And I'm like, all right. So I put the balloons in the room, and I wanted to get everything, like, really nice. You know what I'm saying? So that when he came home tonight, it would be nice and set up. But, of course, I called him just now, and he's freaking at the house. like. And I'm like, are you home? And he's like, yeah. I'm like... 
why and i'm like oh my god you're so annoying and then he goes off like don't make me feel bad for being home i had to come home and change my clothes and get something to eat blah blah, blah. and i'm like that was the whole reason why i kept asking you like what did you have to do you know what i'm saying i kept saying are you gonna come home are you gonna come home and i'm just like but whatever bye it's like when it when when it's blown it's no you just take the fun out of it you know what i'm saying like i don't know and then what's i think What's even more annoying is at least give me the heads up and let me know that you're even coming home. So I can rearrange whatever I'm doing. But whatever. Now I'm just like, it's blown now. So he's like, thank you for the balloons. I'm like, really? Like, shit, it's just whack. Whatever. So anyway, I'm over it. I'm about to um go door dashing. So I ain't, I'm not even, I don't even have to want to even do nothing now. You stop at the house to get something to eat. Like, I don't even have the want to do nothing. To cook nothing or nothing. Because I'm like, for what? Like, for what? Whatever. Anyways, I'm about to get back on. Um, get out here and make this money, y'all. Probably stop and get Kate some freaking McDonald's or something like that for dinner tonight. Because I'm not about to break my neck to go back home and cook nothing. Hey, y'all. So, we're outdoor dashing still. It is almost 7 o'clock. And I'm getting ready to get Kaden something to eat because it's jamming out here. And I don't really want to stop, go home, and do all that. So, I'm going to just go ahead and keep dashing for a little bit. And um, Sean ate, so I'm not real pressed to, like, run back home and cook him anything. Because he came to the house, as y'all know. And, um, so... He, he's probably good. If anything, he'll just eat a little something when he get home. Hold on, let me put y'all up on the board. On the dash. <clears throat> but, yeah, so, um, I'm picking up an order now. And it's like a, um, because it's so busy, they have like an extra, like, two, $2 per order. And then some areas are $3 per order, depending on where you are. And right now, they got me all over the place, so... It's like I signed up for one area, but I was all the way out another. And it, like, puts you out there. Like, it'll wing you in slowly. You know what I'm saying? And I guess it's just because of this is a shortage of drivers. So, I'm trying to eat up as much as I can because tomorrow, I'm, I mean, Saturday, I'm not doing DoorDash at all. And that's going to be just me and Babe's day. And um, so, we're going to try to get up hit the gym in the morning and then probably like do breakfast um chill you know chill out throughout the day or whatever find somewhere really nice to eat in the evening and then hopefully like we can do like a comedy show or something so we're gonna just take a look and just see what the city has going on i was saying that we could probably try um hitting up dc but I'm going to just take a look around and see what, you know, what's going on, if there's any events or whatever. But he wants to, like, get dressed nice and, like, go out. And that's the vibe I'm into. So, I'm like, all right, cool. So, I'm going to look around and see what the city has to offer us this weekend. And then Saturday, Sunday, um, he goes to work his evening job. And um, I'm going to just do my door dashing because Sunday will be busy, too. And Caden's coming back from his dad's on Sunday. So, I probably will grab Caden after I door dash. Or I might grab him earlier, depending on what Justin got going on. Um, they don't have school on Monday. So, Justin may just say keep him. But, I mean, either way, I have to work. So, Caden could be right there doing work, school work. Because, as y'all know, he's on punishment. So, um, I'm getting ready to go get him something to eat. Sorry for the lighting, y'all. But, y'all know I'm driving. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much what our night is pretty much looking like. You know what I'm saying? Turn left on Baltimore National Pike. So, um. Then turn left. Oh, my gosh, you guys. They just upped downtown to $4 extra a delivery. That's so busy. And I knew it was going to be like this. I'm like, people are not going to be wanting to be out here dealing with the long waits and stuff like that. It's just easy to go ahead and order what you want online and have it delivered to you. I mean, that's the route I would have went. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I wouldn't even be pressed to be out right now. Like, everywhere I picked up from... Turn left. Then turn left on both has been busy. Time. Like, busy, busy, busy. So, but yeah. Let me, um... 
I would go downtown, but the only thing with downtown is, um, well, downtown is that <clears throat> parking, you know what I'm saying? If I, if I got the car, I can't risk getting a ticket, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to mess with downtown. So, I just wanted to jump on real quick, y'all, and let y'all know, this is my Valentine's Day dinner. My little Valentine's Day treat, I should say to myself. So I got two clusters of Dungeness crabs. And I'm going to sit here and enjoy my little me time. Sean will probably be coming home in about an hour or so. And then I'll chill with him. But yeah, this is my pre-Valentine's Day turn up, y'all. Alright, good night. Bye.